All right, now our tale of the tape for this middleweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, Herb Dean, ready. our referee for this fight. By two of the biggest superstars in the sport, ready to engage Israel Adesanya and Hamzat Shemaev. And even though Shemaev doesn't have a lot of miles in this middleweight division, he's your number one contender chasing UFC immortality here tonight. Shemaev is the number one contender because of his dominance. But Adesanya has seen this. He has seen the fast rising challenger. He has been in this moment and handled the fast rising guy. My question going into this week, how does Adesanya handle the wrestling of Hamzat Shemaev? He can do that. And Jemayev is forced to stand with him. Hamzat may be in for a long night. Takes his back now. Going for that patented rear naked choke now. All in on the rear naked choke. And now that he's got the choke on beating the neck, it's only a matter of time before his opponent has to tap. Beautiful submission defense by this guy. And now he reverses position. Wow. Nice shot there by the champ. Oh, big elbow. Woo. Israel out of Sonya. I don't even know what that was, but it certainly looked pretty, DC. This man brings so many different things to the table as a striker, and I would think he'd be a very difficult guy for his fellow middleweight contenders to prepare for. Rock him, suck him out of the shoot here. Oh, rock him. Now we're going. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Adesanya. He's got that single collar tie. Oh, man, I'm starting to feel bad for the canvas as he lands another takedown there. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio the ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits his take out. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Oh, big elbow. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. That was a nice transition. That was right off the strike into the takedown, and it looked effortless. It did not look like he had to work hard to finish his takedown at all. Every strike he lands, that cut gets worse. Yeah, it's getting worse, and he needed to address it. Oh, Kamura attack. Yup. Oh, he's got the Kamura position locked in now. Submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and the show in that defense. How good is this? Back and forth we go. Great job landing that headshot from the clinch. So he needs to mix it up. He needs to start kicking more. All right, watch out for the setup here, DC. I know you don't pay your bets, but I bet you he's about to go for another takedown here. If I don't pay, then why are you begging me? I'll yell in the octagon and go, man, don't shoot so that I can get paid. But if I'm betting, I'm trying to take the over. I believe that he's going to get another takedown. So I'm trying to force you into saying that he does do it again. Or something. We'll I don't see. Know. We'll see. I'm not the game. Now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. It's coming high. And now he's got to work back. Oh, good arm bar attempt here. Oh, he's got that arm tight now. He's starting to get it in there deep. He has done such a great job of targeting that cut that now he has his opponent in a critical situation. Oh, I'm no expert, but that bomb flute choke looks locked in. Great job maintaining position there. You never want to lose position to chase a submission. Sonya gets back up again. Nicely done. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. Nice combination. Beautiful entry as he gets the takedown late in the round, too, which could have an impact on the judges, potentially. Absolutely. You want to leave an impression in the judges' minds. If 
you walk back to your corner, when you get up from a dominant position, you almost want to wave at the judges and say, I got it done. Adesanya's eye starting to swell now. Oh, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move oh, oh. his position off the bottom. Round two straight ahead. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and he heads back to the stool, and hopefully he can stay in this fight because that is a severe cut that he's dealing with right now. Refocus. All right, well, defense wins championships, and perhaps he can shore some things up there. Here are some replays from the damaging previous round. Well, he's got to. He's got to change some things if he doesn't want this cut to get worse. But hats off to his opponent. His opponent found the target. His opponent knew exactly what he wanted to accomplish, and he got it done. He's got to continue down the path in order to make the cut worse. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. Jab gets the attention of his opponent. Adesanya's elbow here is blocked. Nice job defensively there. Shumayev's an absolutely bloody mess right now. Cut man knows he's got his work cut out for him between rounds. Nicely done as he gets the double leg takedown. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Wild swing there. Oh, beautiful job with the hands there by Israel Adesanya. When you focus too much on the kicks, that's what happens. You get cracked with that Adesanya right hand. Right punch is good. The left also flush. Shimaev's doing a nice job there raising the guard to protect the eye with that block. You can't allow that cut to get worse as this fight continues. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Oh, I think he's still compromised. We'll see if he can recover here. He's in a world of trouble. Oh, nice elbow. Nice up. Swing and a miss with that punch by Chimaya. Oh, the damage just continues to be inflicted. And with respect to the athletes, if this was a movie, I might just walk out. I don't need to see it. I mean, I just don't need to see it. it it's to a point now where it's getting a bit uncomfortable. You have a fighter who's clearly out. All right, setting up for a finish here. That is tight. Continue. Fans Good will fight. appreciate that decision Good. at least for now. They will. Good. It's been a fun fight to this point. Let's see how we deal with this bad cut. All right, so the strike lands, but my, my children hit that. <laughs> yeah, at this point, Good early shot. in the fight, you saw his opponent's head snap and then, oh! And that will do it! Hamzat Shimayev with a huge win tonight! Oh, my goodness. go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 18 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed USC middleweight champion of the world, Hamzat Borz Kamaya.
All right, Hamza Chimaev, your winner by knockout here tonight. Not quite as quick as the knockout of Gerald Mershart, but another quick night at the office for the undefeated Hamza Chimaev. Yeah, a massive night for Hamza Chimaev to go out there and do it again. To go out there and show that he is one of the best in the world by earning a massive knockout victory.